Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show how uh, I, I use uh, types and views plugins to create a custom post type, create some custom fields, and add these fields to the custom post type. And most importantly, how to retrieve these values and show on a page in WordPress. So currently there's a page in my site, uh, in the site that I'm uh, building called staff, pro staff. So it is to uh, basically list staff members. Each staff member will have a title, image, um, some text and one or more URLs. And one of the requirements from the client is that uh, if the URL is not working, uh, which it is in this case, in the last case, then uh, the entry should not be visible in the list. So I'm going to go to plugins and install types and views. Uh, types is a free plugin. So using this uh, free plugin types, we'll be able to easily create custom post types, custom fields, taxonomies. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is go to custom types and taxonomies and add a custom post type. And I'm going to call this pro staff. Okay. Um, since the word staff is both singular and plural at the same time, uh, pro staffs doesn't make sense uh, for the plural. So I'm going to leave the plural as pro staff as it is. And for the singular term, I'm going to use pro staff member. And the slug, I would just enter it as pro staff, everything in small letters. And notice this has archive. So I would I would like to disable this because uh, when somebody goes to uh, the site domain name slash whatever is the uh, slug of the CPT, it's going to basically display all the entries. Since I'm going to display all the entries on a separate page, which has its own URL, uh, I don't want the entries to be listed on its archive. And hence, I'm going to disable the show archive uh, feature. I mean, has archive. All right. So I'm going to click on save custom post type. Okay, it says you cannot use the slug because there is already a page by that name. Please choose a different slug. So there's a simple workaround around that for this. So we would just go to the list of pages and locate our page and we just simply change the slug temporarily to something like say pro staff 2 and now this would work. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to the uh, page, change the slug back to that. Okay, so now I would like to create uh, some custom fields. So first thing is I'm going to click on a, add a custom fields group and I'm going to name this group as uh, pro staff details. You can enter a description here, which is optional. I'm going to leave it blank for the time being. And I would like this custom fields group to be visible for uh, pro staff custom post type, not on posts, not on pages, 
and not in other portions of the website. So click OK. And so this one would be nothing but the title which is already provided by WordPress. And this would be the content area again which is provided by WordPress in the CPT. So the only two custom fields that uh, we need to add are the staff members image and the URL. So I'm going to click on image and say staff member image. So when I press tab, uh, the slug of the field is automatically going to be entered. This field can have only one value. And this is what I would like to leave it on. And this is not a required field. So the next one would be the URL. So this would be staff members. Uh, members websites or could be website like that and in the slug it's not a good thing in fact I don't think brackets are allowed so just we'll remove that and allow multiple instances of this field so I'm going to check this so that this would become a repeatable kind of field and for the validation I'm gonna select URL so that it's going to ensure that uh, HTTP, www, etc. is present. So click on save. Okay. Oh, let me just go back to um, custom post types. I'm going to add a small icon which would be the icon for pro staff menu item in the dashboard <clears throat> so for the menu icon I'm gonna paste that and click on save ah. Okay, so the icon that I have uh, provided the URL of is appearing here. So I can, now I can go and click on add new to enter each staff member's details. So if you have noticed the uh, custom fields group that I have uh, I have created earlier appears here below the uh, content editor. And these two are the custom uh, fields that I have added. One is the image type, the other is the URL. And since uh, this is a repeater kind of field, there is uh, a button which uh, we can click to add more URLs.